always a big day in tech when Apple is having an event, and that is indeed what is happening at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, as they showcase some of their new products. They're even temporarily taking down the Apple Store ahead of the big event. But the big question is, will there be new iPhones? Probably not. As usual, Apple is super tight-lipped about what they're going to showcase, but even Apple can't control all of the leaks that come out. So here's what we do expect. New Apple Watches? Yes, maybe two new Apple Watches, one being a Series 6 new model, which would include a blood oxygen sensor, which is something we've seen in some Fitbits, but have been expecting from Apple for a while. And I'm sure there'll be some other surprises with an update as well. And we're also thinking there may be an Apple Watch SE, which could be a less expensive version. From there, the iPad line will be updated with a potentially updated iPad Air with a pro look and maybe a less expensive iPad as well. There could also be the announcement of the Apple One subscription program, maybe some new headphones. There is a lot that could happen at this event, and we'll be providing live analysis right here. So here's what's going on. You can watch the Apple event at 10 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, and pull up our live feed to watch our live commentary along with it. I will be hosting it along with a number of our editors to provide instant reaction to Apple's announcements. And of course, we'll have all of the coverage at digitaltrends.com. Big day for tech, so follow along with that all day long. Today was the deadline for TikTok's U.S. operations to be sold to an American company, and they beat that by one day, kind of, to avoid an outright ban that would have happened on September 20th, with Oracle reportedly becoming a trusted tech partner. Under the deal, Oracle would manage the U.S. database operations for TikTok's China-based owner ByteDance and potentially create 20,000 U.S. jobs. But does that satisfy the sales requirements? Well, we don't know. We're expecting a U.S. government response later this week, so TikTok fans just Hold tight for now. In the meantime, competitors are still swooping in. Instagram, of course, launched Reels in the U.S. last month, but before that they were testing in India, which has banned TikTok for quite some time, and it appears YouTube is following suit. So that same roadmap has been followed by them, and they have launched the long-talked-about Shorts platform there. So Shorts videos will be accessed from an icon on the YouTube app and will allow for 15-second videos. Shorts will also partner with musicians to create a large music database for users and potentially seek partnerships with the musicians themselves. For now, it will be beta tested in India, but expect it to launch in more countries soon. You can read more about it at digitaltrends.com. <clears throat> The streaming content wars continue to go on, and name changes are back with CBS All Access announcing a rebrand. So in line with the trends, they will now be changing the name from CBS All Access to Paramount Plus, starting in early 2021. CBS All Access is currently estimated to have around 8 million subscribers with original programming in the Star Trek universe being one of the key offerings. Now, the previous merging of Viacom and CBS brought a large catalog of programming under one umbrella, and they want to take advantage of that. So according to the press release, they'll be bringing archives of BET, Comedy Central, CBS, Nickelodeon to the platform, and MTV with a reboot of Behind the Music, looking at the last 40 years of music. Other original programming will include docu-series focusing on the real criminal minds, and one that tells the story of the making of The Godfather called The Offer. So there's a lot of competition for streaming content, but Paramount Plus hopes to win over some new fans with their vast archives. You can read more about it at digitaltrends.com. Disney Plus has had a pretty good run going for themselves since launching, and obviously one of the biggest hits has been The Mandalorian, and we finally have it, a trailer for season two. They announced the release date of October 30th a while ago, but with the new trailer, we now have some more information and honestly, something cool to see. So the new one seems to detail how the Mandalorian is tasked with finding Baby Yoda's home, and they mention Jedis. Uh, we also know that Rosario Dawson will be playing Anakin Skywalker's apprentice Ahsoka Tano, Boba Fett is in the new season, Timmy Ol Timothy Oliphant's in it, Giancarlo Esposito returns, Carl Weathers, and Gino Carano. It looks so good. So thank you for allowing me my nerve break during this section of today's programming. But seriously, it looks awesome. October 30th is when it's going to be coming out. So you can read more about The Mandalorian and our breakdown of this trailer at digitaltrends.com.